Organic life in a drop of water seen by scientists through the miracle of the microscope. Known as early as the 15th century, the microscope has developed as a tool of science. This one dates back to 1760, this one 1843. Martin's microscope from the early 18th century, Watson's and Sons more than a hundred years later. In the late 19th century, Wright and Newton built a projection microscope. At the same time, this binocular and oil lamp came into use in London. Early in the 20th century came the compound microscope. Anton van Leeuwenhoek, born in Holland in 1632, turned to the study of minute organic bodies. He reported his findings in these words. I found them in the water, in the air, and in the human body. From his time, the microscope developed rapidly, and by the 1920s, the electron microscope had arrived. The basic elements of the electronic microscope follow those of the optical type, but there is a difference in the form of illumination, and the magnification is many times that of the optical type. Let's look in using an electronic microscope and see a virus magnified 50,000 times. The optical microscope uses a lamp, condenser lens, specimen, objective lens, eyepiece, and photographic screen. The electronic microscope has an electron gun, a magnetic coil which replaces the condenser lens, the specimen, the objective lens, projector lens, and a fluorescent screen. This is a modern optical microscope. These are slipper animals found in ordinary rainwater. And this is a pumpkin stem magnified hundreds of times. This is a modern projection microscope. The image is enlarged on a screen mounted on top. A minute seashell 300 times enlarged. The cine microscope enables scientists to take movie film. Here the wonder of the microscope and time-lapse photography enables you to see the growth of copper sulphate crystals. Science has progressed tremendously in the last 300 years. The modern microscope, now linked with motion picture photography, is another step on the long road of research. <laughs>